Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Risa from Risa's Journal. Today I want to share with you guys my journal system for 2022. There are the journals on the left that I use every day, and then I have these two journals that I don't reach for very often, but I wanted to share with you guys anyways because I reached for them throughout the previous year and will continue to do so. But for now, I'm going to put them aside. So these are the journals that I use every day. This middle one is my 2021 bullet journal. Now that it's time to transfer to my new bullet journal, I'm going to use that Midori cover for my new bullet journal. This cover has seen some things. I had to save it with some tape, but she's working just fine. The two inner flaps are matte, but the outside cover is glossy. I have a sticky note here in case I ever need it. It does come in handy. The cover also has a pen holder that very nicely flattens back down when you are not using it. I like the cover but the gloss definitely makes it hard for me to take pictures because the light will bounce off of it and create a glare. So oftentimes, when I want to take a picture of the cover, I will just take it off. That way I don't have to deal with the glare. I'm just going to store my 2021 bullet journal in this plastic sleeve to keep the cover nice and crisp. I don't know if you can see that, but the ink from the picture I used before left a vague imprint on the cover. I'm going to try to clean it the best I can. But it's okay if it's not as clean as it once was. I don't really mind. Okay, we're ready to put on the new cover. Strangely, I have been looking forward to this moment. I'm really excited to use my new journal. So putting on this cover is like the initiation for this new journal. Ooh, nice. I love how perfectly it fits. This journal feels the same and it looks so similar to last year's, but the inside is different. I hope that's what 2022 will be like. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick glimpse of what my journal looks like so far. You guys can see me set it up in my video. You can look at it in the top right hand corner, but you know, same deal. It is a bullet journal. It's my seventh year bullet journaling, I believe. And it's just what I have figured out works best for me. Now moving on to my next journal. This one I have been using every day for the past month of December and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. This one is also an A5 size like my bullet journal is. The pages itself are A5 size and the cover is a little bit bigger than the paper it holds so that's why it looks a little bit bigger than my bullet journal. I've labeled it a diary but it's not really a diary, it's more a reflective journaling notebook. Maybe that's what a diary is, I don't know. I've decorated the cover with my very own stickers that will be up on my shop in the next shop update. I'm not sure when that will be yet. All the stickers on this cover except for the alphabet stickers spelling the diary, the cake, and the washi tape are my very own creations. These ones were actually a test. The color isn't as vibrant as it will be sold and I didn't get the bleed right here but it's all fixed in the final product and why not show you what I have so far. This isn't everything that will be up on my shop. There will be much more. This one is that one. I also have a hamster one. These hearts, bears, um, there's more colors. This one is pink, but there's also every other color in the rainbow. Um, and a regular bear sticker. So that is just a little sneak peek. I'm thinking summer mid-January. Once I have an actual date and time, I will let you guys no. So opening up this journal, I first have some prompts. These are from Leah's field notes or video from her. So we'll link it down below. I've copied all of her journaling prompts here and I've been referring to them a lot in recent days though I haven't been doing that. If I find more prompts that I stumble across on the internet, I will use those extra filler papers there in the back. I'm not going to share with you guys my personal thoughts, but I will just show you this one page so you can see how I set up my journal prompts. 
I've written the date in this purple color and I've used that same purple pen to write the prompts and all the words that I feel really reflect how I feel. I have a decent amount of pages filled out here. It just makes me really happy to see how many pages I filled out. Then I have this bookmark so I can easily find my place. When the notebook is closed, you just see this cute face peeking out and that makes me really happy. I just made this with some leftover cardstock I had lying around. And then I just have some extra filler paper left in the section. I will need to add some more soon. This next section is a collage journal. There is a lot going on in this cover. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I like it and that's what really matters. I make collage type spreads in here, but I'll also have my own personal thoughts incorporated into the spreads. It's essentially the same as the journal with me videos that I have up on my channel, but these are just for my own enjoyment and not to share with the world. Maybe I will share it with Instagram once in a while. Speaking of Instagram, I did share a picture of this particular spread on my Instagram. So it is possible you'll see glimpses of this journal here and there. And yes, I do just have those three spreads so far. And another little bookmark that I made. This one is from a drink sticky note that I stuck on some leftover cardstock and I cover it with some masking tape to kind of laminate it. I do not have a laminating machine so that's what works. And then at the end of the section I have a little pouch and a folder. This one is double-sided. I don't have anything in here. And the pouch I keep some scraps. I also have my vaccination card. Um, just some extra scraps of paper that I will use in my journal. This next section means a finance, but I don't do any financing in this section. I just draw my wish list, things that I want to buy in the future for my own place. In the back of the section, I have an accordion folder, and yet again, I do not have anything in here. There are five little tabs here, which means five little pockets. We're coming to the end here. This one is a grid spacing cheat sheet. This is when I thought I was going to use this as a bullet journal, but I figured that writing in here with the rings would be really difficult, so I went against it. And at the way end here, I just have some extra fill paper. You guys have seen this earlier in the video. And that is it for this journal. So these are the two journals that I use every single day, but I did also want to talk about these two journals that I don't use every single day, but I do reach for throughout the year. This first one is similar to that middle section of my journal that I just shared with you guys. You guys have seen this a lot if you've stuck around. You guys can check out my journal with me videos if you want to see more of this particular journal. This next one is my art journal. I really haven't been doing too much in here. I will also link the video where I draw in here. I really haven't done much, but I will continue to do so. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my journal system for 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. And as always, thank you for watching and stay safe out there.